that uh, mm-hmm. reggae, yeah. Rasta, yeah. is an influence, has been an influence to the whole world, right. of, our world world's affair. Right. And during the, the anti-apartheid struggle, you have freedom fighters who used to listen to Bob Marley's message and most of them are now politicians and I should say that well let's hope that they are now practicing the message in their leadership um, style so when I said in, in, in those so, days so it's it's not about being a Rasta man it's not as long as the message is positive right it's not it's it politic no, it, it's it is political. political no matter what you want no matter where you want to look at it because when i said free uh, when i say ease up ease of president voter that was a song that was depicting freedom for nelson mandela nelson mandela came out and was uh, the president of, of south africa isn't he a politician so wasn't that a politi- that he, was politics? He was a freedom fighter. Right, freedom so wasn't that politics? <laughs> yeah. So anything... So he didn't become a, a politician. That's what I am saying to you. So whatever, whenever you articulate for the poor, the, um, for, uh, for the poor to have better houses, why would we even go out there and say, why? Po- the poor need to have better houses, the poor need to have more food and somewhere they can lay their head and, 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 and they need jobs. And is not that what the politician is saying to you? So it is in sense, a, a sense, politics same way. So if a man says it is he, he, as a rasta, whatever song he do, or he does then, it's not politics. He's, he's not really thinking in terms of what is going on in the world. It's, it's beyond time, you know what I'm saying? Because anything we say as rasta is political. Very much political. So you clear that you did it's no so you don't need publicity. Why would I need public publicity? That's what I'm saying to you. I am Coco T. Look how long I've been in the, in the business. Why would I do this song because I need pol- publicity? No, it's because I am looking for the change that this man want to really want to bring about. Because if, if you don't want to see the troops come home from Iraq, then you are in agreement with the war. But if you want to see the troops come home from Iraq, that means you are not in agreement with the war. Right, and if you are not in agreement to work with, with someone, you are a politician. Kokoti, if this song becomes an integral part of Obama's campaign, what would you like to happen for Kokoti? Well, I'm not really seeking no special favors, you know. I just really want to know, so boy, I endorse the changes. The main thing I want to see is the man deliver on the promises that he's making. Right. right? The promise he's making of changing the whole aspect of the politics in Washington. That means it can even transcend to our politician down here that they will, you know what I'm saying? Articulate and put in place changes that people can really resonate to and can really, you know, reflect upon what is happening around the, the, the place today because if there's not a change in Washington right now, then the world is doomed. Honestly, between me and you, because right now, uh, there's a wide spectrum of the world that is not really pleased with what is happening in Washington. And like I said, what they, what happened to them really affects us indirectly. The rising prices of oil, the rising prices of food, you know what I'm saying? And the stringent measures that are put in place now in America right now and around the world because of all of these terrorism and you know this negativity that is going about the place right now we need to see a change from the thing that where the people them can come together and live without fear and live without you know even wondering what's gonna happen tomorrow you can travel freely <laughs> you know you see your mama <laughs> but you know that's that's true you see what i'm saying yeah, so we true. need to see our people can come together what that is what really inspired what i'm mean. mostly about obama you know? obama is saying that he will sit down and talk with people from every nation and try to have dialogue listen to what they are saying and then meet them halfway or try to meet them somewhere they can at a point where we they both can, can agree. agree. You know what I'm saying? It's not like about it's no having dictatorship money. and all them type yeah. of thing there. And it's for a person money. who is planning to unite the world and to unite America, mm-hmm. 
you you must have to really want to support a person like that. That's true. Because we need people to sit down, have dialogue with each other, and can meet each other halfway and see eye to eye. And the problems of the world today, because the problem of the world today affects all. It don't affect America alone. It affects all the people. You know, we've been talking about this song, Obama. Give us a little piece so we can... <laughs> <laughs> well, this is not about class. No color, race, no creed. Make no mistake, it's the changes. Where all the people them need? Them a shout out Barack, Obama, Barack, Obama, Barack, Obama, woy, woy. Them say Barack, Obama, Barack, Obama, Barack, Obama, woy, woy. Well, you can hear it in the morning. And you can hear it in the evening, Obama. Black man and white man shouting, Obama, them in a day groove and them is moving. And you can hear them saying, Barack, Obama, Barack, Obama, Barack, Obama, woy, woy. Them say, Barack, Obama, Barack, Obama, Barack, Obama, woy, woy. It is not Hillary Clinton, <laughs> and it is not John McCain. It is not Chuck Norris, and I know it's not John Wayne. It is not the man Rambo, and it is not the Terminator, but a the new trendsetter. He might not the whole America, and they must shout out Barack Obama, Barack Obama, Barack Obama, woy, woy, them say Barack Obama, Barack. Obama, Barack, Obama, boy. I <laughs> don't know. Catchy, you know? Of very course, catchy. it's very catchy. You know what I say? <laughs> yeah, man, the melody and the lyrics, people can resonate with what I'm saying because I don't really like, you know, we are trying to gain anything from it. We know, say, boy, exposure is the enough exposure. Like, like Bob Marley say, you know, Bob Marley say, me make music. And when I man make I man sang them, I don't really go out to go tell no one say I make song and I try to call down the world for make money and for make anything for because of it. Mm -hmm. But if money come and you have to achieve it, you achieve it. If fame come and fame, you have to achieve fame, you achieve fame. But it's just because you are make music. Mm -hmm. And music was made to be made. Mm -hmm. And so right now, I man is I can't do not want to make music because you don't know I don't, I don't know I man to do them thing. Anything happen. And the current, I am one of the artists that them say is very good at current affairs. Current. When it comes to world issues and current affairs, you talk about cockatoo because a them thing that I man strive for. You know what I say? I man not just make music because I want to have people listening and dancing and anything there. I just make music because it, it's music with a purpose. Mm -hmm. And it's a music that will enlighten, educate, inform, and at the same time entertain the world because that is what I'm here for. I'm I'm, I'm not just there for make music for people dance and jump up and down and, and shout out and anything. Sometimes it's it's meant to educate the people, mm -hmm. to inform the people and to really enlighten the people who need to be enlightened ab about what is going on. Well, that is what is so fascinating to me about Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. Because Barack Obama is someone who can bring forth nations from many different ethnic background and many different race, color, class or creed, they can resonate with the message that this man is bringing forward. That's why I came forward and okay. do this song, Barack Obama. Yeah. And they, they have a lot of people who are fighting against him because of that. It's just like you, you did the song and as I said to you, they're... Everyone will not fight favor. Right, with that what you do, do it because of public. They don't look at it as for at the on the positive side of it. Right. Look at, you know. But, um... But you see, I man is a person that always believes that we don't, if you don't have critics in this world, you can never be a man. Be a man. You see what I'm saying? If everyone says yes, yeah, yeah, yeah for you, you know what I'm saying? Then you would be better than Jesus Christ <laughs> and better than, than Emperor Haile Selassie I the first. You see what I'm saying? Like Gregory Avasang say, the same word we say Ray, and the same word say Boo. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you don't expect that every time you do a song, people go and say, right, sometimes they're going to be say, boo. Right. 